Good evening, first graders. One of my favorite stories is Paul Bunyan. This is a tall tale. A tall tale includes some characteristics like stretching the truth. You know, something so fabulous that it just couldn't possibly be true. But it usually does try to explain some natural features or some things that you maybe come across every day when you're traveling. This is a story that has been adapted by Sidney Meltzer Kleinheinz. Now I apologize. The photos or illustrations in this case will not be in color, but they're really cool. Paul Bunyan was born in Maine. He was so big. His cradle was put in the ocean. The waves rocked him to sleep. One day he kicked too much. The sea crashed over the town. Everyone said Paul had to go. You can see the wave that his cradle is creating. So Paul grew up in the woods. He could beat deer in races. He could play with wild beasts and tame them. He snacked in orchards, eating apples as if they were gumdrops. As a young man, he became a lumberjack. Once, Paul found a baby ox in the snow. He warmed the ox, but it stayed blue. Babe, the blue ox, ate heaps of hay and turnips and grew fast. He outgrew his barn in one night. Babe was strong and a big help to Paul. One day, Paul got a letter from the king of Sweden. Dear Mr. Bunyan, some people from my country want to live in North Dakota. Can you clear the trees there in one month? Thank you, the king of Sweden. Paul hired many loggers to clear the land for the king. To feed them all, he made soup in a nearby lake. The hot soup made fog form. It was so thick the loggers had to chop it to see their food. Paul and his loggers cleared the trees and the farmers came. The king wrote again. He said, my farmers cannot grow crops on land with tree stumps. So Paul pounded each stump into the ground so the farmers were happy. Paul and Babe headed to Maine to visit Mom and Pop Bunyan. Rain had soaked the ground and their feet sank into the mud. Their footprints filled with rain and became the Great Lakes. At home, Paul asked, what's new? Pop said, I hear the president needs help. He's digging a ditch so people will know if they are in the United States or Canada. Paul and Babe helped. That ditch became the St. Lawrence River. Pioneers kept moving west. Paul and his loggers cleared the frontier. They came to a place with good dark dirt. This looks like a fine spot to grow things, Paul said. Is there water? Someone asked. Paul swung his axe into the ground. A hot, wet gusher shot into the sky. Plenty, he yelled. As they all ran, that gusher still shoots up today in Yellowstone Park. Paul 
Paul and his loggers hiked on hot sand to reach the west coast. Paul felt so weak, he dragged his ox, I'm sorry, dragged his axe. It dug the Grand Canyon. I won't survive this heat, a man said. Paul had to think fast. He got a load of corn and let the hot sun pop it. The popcorn snow made everyone feel cool. The loggers put on mittens and played. Soon they were ready to start hiking again. Summer is a hot time of year for a hike. The sweaty loggers spotted a river and cheered as they ran to it. Babe, too, had a huge thirst. Babe drank and drank. The loggers bent lower to drink, and Babe drank more, and they began to worry. Just as they feared, Babe drank that river dry. Paul Bunyan slapped his thigh and chuckled. Then he led his loggers into the woods. They still had plenty of work to do on the frontier. So, as I go through this, this is not a complete tall tale of Paul Bunyan. There are several more land features that According to the tall tales, Paul Bunyan and Babe the Blue Ox, who's always by his side, uh, helped to create. But with the short um, version of Paul Bunyan that I have here, you can answer several questions that go along with the NTI packet um, for library, such as the, the author's name, the title, who the main characters are. And then when you get to setting, setting did change some, didn't it? But what country did they stay in? I mean, they did, Paul was born in, that's right, Maine. So he went from Maine He was asked to go to North Dakota to clear the trees. He grew up quickly, by the way. More quickly than most humans could naturally um, grow up. As they headed to back to Maine, they visit Mom and Pop Bunyan, but they make the Great Lakes. So they're way up north because they need to make a ditch for the president so that they have a division between, a natural division or boundary between United States and Canada. And it became the St. Lawrence River. Then he's back out west and he makes Old Faithful. In Yellowstone National Park, they don't say Old Faithful, but it's kind of alluded to the Great Geyser. And then he's dragging his axe, and he forms the Grand Canyon out west. Of course, it's very dry in most of those parts of um, the southwest. So the river <laughs> is no longer uh, filled with water after Babe is finished with it. And then, of course, they are attributed to some other uh, land features. But these are ones that they, they touch on. 
Uh, I will try to upload a map tomorrow, and um, hopefully you can identify some of these famous places. I do have some photographs, and maybe I can share those with you, too. Uh, I know I have one of uh, Old Faithful, and I might have one that's of the Dakotas, but it's probably... You know, there's not much in a photograph because there's not much in the Dakotas, really, to see. It's it's very, very flat, um, somewhat rugged in some places uh, when I saw Mount Rushmore years ago. So the setting does change, but it's throughout the United States. Um, so I will help you out a little bit with that. But if you wanted to divide that up, you know, have one where he where he's born and one where he's creating a landform, that's fine. Uh, somewhere in the United States. I won't give away where the Grand Canyon is or uh, the states that uh, Yellowstone um, touches. I'll let you discover that. Um, was there a problem? Yeah, I believe there was. Actually, more than one. How was it solved? Uh, again, more than one problem, more than one resolution. So I hope you enjoyed the book. Uh, maybe tomorrow um, I will have my daughter or son record me so that uh, I can just focus on the book instead of the recording too. So peace out. Have a good evening. Love you. Bye.